Hey guys, I'm Eric. And I'm Nathan. And we are Notes and Nerds. So guys, we're sitting here uh, in the Nerd Haven studio, and we're sitting with Nikki and Harris for an interview. Introduce yeah. yourselves, guys. Uh, my name is Nikki Blackburn. I'm a local cosplayer in Topeka, Kansas, and uh, I help uh, run a group called the Topeka Cosplay Society and try to get everybody in the community kind of involved in basically cosplay and conventions and stuff. I'm Harrison May, and I just like to dress up. <laughs> So, well, they say every girl's crazy about a sharp dress, man. Hmm. I can tell by my sweatpants <laughs> and sweatshirt that that's very true. It's a lazy day. <laughs> so, you guys used to do a thing called Sunday Fun Day that was like every month um, that got retired because, well, you're trying to do other things, right? Yeah, uh, we just kind of, at least for me, I kind of wanted to focus a little bit more on the cosplay aspect of it. We used to have like a meeting at our Sunday Fun Day um, you know, each time we would have it, but it was only once a month and, you know, having the, the group kind of makes it so we can schedule things kind of when we want to, it doesn't have to rely on an event and there's not other things kind of going on in the background to distract from like, you know, planning for each con coming up and who's doing what and that kind of thing, so. Now, do you guys have particular cosplays that you like doing? Uh, one of my favorites is Agent Carter. I actually wear my Agent Carter shirt today. Uh, that was kind of the first one I really did. Um, I, I had done like minor cosplays before, but I, I loved Agent Carter, the show. I obviously I love Captain America, um, and so I started cosplaying Peggy, and now I have like five, I think five different versions of her. So, wow. and uh, you know, just from the military <laughs> versions to her, you know, red hat, blue suit. Um, so that's probably my t all time favorite. My other favorite is my um, Captain Cold from the TV show The Flash. Um, and that one's been pretty cool. You're excited he's coming back. Uh, oh, yes. Came back, yes. Didn't he? Don't get me started. I can go on an entire rant about how much I love Captain Cold. As of this recording, <laughs> I have not seen the season or the mid season finale, so no spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, so <clears throat> you talked about the freeze, you showed the freeze gun. Yes. Can you. Describe how you built this because I'm, I'm noticing on the grip. It's got the uh, nerf uh, mm -hmm. grip because yeah. I have or had a slew of nerf guns that I gave <laughs> to the kids Loved the uh, Vulcan. That was an awesome gun. Yeah. I want to do something with that one day, but explain your Basically gun. what I did like as you mentioned you notice a little <laughs> nerf symbol on here So I started with just a regular uh, Nerf gun I found one I looked at pictures of the cold gun from the TV show and I tried to find a nerf gun that it's base was very similar in shape and would allow me to not have to modify it too much mm -hmm. um, and then once I did that uh, Harrison actually helped me clean out some of the guts of the gun and then I really just I looked I got a bunch of pictures up of the the gun from the TV show and all these other parts and add-ons are just different uh, you know uh, thicknesses of foam so it's all pretty much just foam layered on top of it um, and then we actually did um, fiberglassing because the hardest part to me was getting this extra piece down here. So this was, uh, what, what was the interior material? Foam board. Foam board, yeah. So we used foam board and then layered it with some extra foam and then uh, fiberglassed it on to kind of enhance the handle there. Nice. And Make then, it durable. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I can hold it. I mean, it's pretty, you know, it's got a few nicks and stuff here just from use, but it Kind makes of it looks like it's been yeah it. you know that i've actually been out like fighting the flash and then we just uh the to make it light up they're just little blue leds yeah um, i was gonna say light them all up for us give yeah. it because i mean this is where cosplay gets really fun and interesting is when you see the cosplayers just really yeah. just go all out and all i awesome. awesome. all of these are these little lights all the little lights on there nice. are those dollar store, dollar tree mm -hmm. uh, little finger That's lights that you can red get. Red fingers. Yeah. About 120 of those finger lights in red, blue, green, that is white for amazing. about 20 bucks. Yeah. So internet for stuff like that is, is great. Um, most of the foam you can find at you know either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I like uh, 
uh, because they have a lot of different yeah, thicknesses. Yeah, they have thickness. They have more thicknesses, um, and they have uh, different sizes of sheets, so mm -hmm. you can kind of pick and choose what you want. So that's what I use. And then Michaels is a little bit better for like the big rolls if yes. you just need a bunch of thin foam. So really, all it is. And then I just kind of painted it by looking at the pictures using acrylic paint. And to weather it, um, I just used you know different shades of like black and just kind of washed it out into the crevasses and stuff so no clean awesome looking at little items yes. like this now if you're not familiar with it it's supposed to represent the little diamond thing above your sims you characters. found out it's actually called a plum bob a plum has bob. a name it's a, a plum, plum bob. bob yeah it's a plum bob sounds so, like one of those words like doohickey yeah <laughs> this is basically <laughs> But that's just a really good example of easy cosplay um, because I think cosplay can be kind of intimidating for a well, lot of people. Do something about that someday. Yeah, see? There you go. And he's <laughs> cosplaying. Do something. <laughs> we'll just do that the rest of the interview, right? Uh, but yeah, that, I mean, that's a great example you of... You actually look like a pretty princess. You know, stuff you can do that's, that's really easy. And I think it's a good way we found to, at least I have with some of my friends, if they're not really sure about what they want to do for cosplay is starting really small and, and giving like little things you can do together like like the plumb bob um, which is just cardstock paper fold together we found a video on youtube and mm -hmm. then just kind of follow those instructions and then it's just wrapped with wire around a headband and there you go simple cosplay is always some of the most intriguing because people will stop you and go like oh my god you're doing that that's like yeah. crazy because it's so simple because you don't have to dress in anything special you just go to the con and whatever clothes Add a few you're wearing. little things to oh, yeah. it and like, you're in cosplay. Yeah, I mean, one of our one of our most popular ones was we did the incognito Black Widow and Captain America from Winter Soldier, just mm -hmm. the one where they're walking mm -hmm. through the mall and people would stop us and be like, you're from something. <laughs> and then they'd see my Captain America shield now and give it away. Yeah. 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 All right, so I see that you guys have a staff sitting here. You can't see very much at the top on because it's been cut off on the camera, but what is this for? Uh, this was actually, um, I had an event coming up. Uh, it was uh, my buddy Ruben's event, uh, Retro Rumble, he does here in Topeka mm -hmm. uh, every few months. And I wanted to represent the Topeka Cosplay Society, but I really wanted to do a less taxing cosplay. I didn't want to do like an Agent Carter where I have to wear the shoes, do the hair, all that stuff. So uh, there's a movie called Rise of the Guardians. It's an animated uh, kind of kids movie. It's a different take on characters like Jack Frost and Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. And movie, uh, by the way. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen it, it, it's great. And if you haven't, it's been out for a few years now. Yeah. So you should be able to find it. Go see it. <laughs> yes. And uh, so anyways, Jack Frost in that movie, um, he's got a really simple uh, attire. He's just got kind of a blue hoodie uh, with some cutoff pants, and then he's got his staff. Um, and he has white hair, and a couple of the other characters I do, like Captain Cold from the comics, use white hair. So I was like, okay, I already got the white wig. Um, and then I just have to do a blue hoodie, some pants, and weather and stuff. And so this staff was actually done, uh, the two of us, in a night. Uh, we did. Uh, it's just the base is kind of a broomstick. The top is just a foam pattern that he actually drew out. Then we cut it out and uh, glued it together. Is there wire underneath? Yeah, I think. It's yeah, it's with wire so you can bend it back yeah. into place, give it a little bit of sturdiness. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it kind of stands up a little bit better mm -hmm. than flopping around. And then it's just wrapped with like uh, packing paper. And then I just kind of added some kind of silvery blue. Uh, paint to sort of weather it so it looks like it's kind of frosted up. You might not be able to see it from here, but when you kind of get up close, it looks like it's actually been frosted up. That is a pretty impressive piece. I mean, it just shows again the things that you can do with no and really budget. Cheap. Yeah. yeah, really cheap. I mean, you know, just a little bit of packing paper. I think at most the the whole thing. Like here's here's the jacket I did. You know, I just went to Walmart, got like a Hanes jacket. You know, just kind of painted on some like frosty effects on it, and I already had the blue paint from when I did the the cold gun. So I mean, it was all just using stuff I either already had or just you know bought. So you know, that might be a fifteen twenty dollar cosplay max. You know, which you can probably even find cheaper ways to do things if you already have a lot of the material. So yeah. Now you mentioned earlier Topeka cosplay, um, your your group. Mm -hmm. Um, how big is that? Um, I think we have about 150 so members officially on Facebook. Some are obviously, you know, more active than others. Some people, I think they kind of 
follow the group just to kind of learn about cosplay, kind of follow along. Other people are more actively involved. They like to go out and do the events. Um, but, you know, we're always looking for new people to join to kind of whether it's something you actually want to do or you just are kind of interested in cosplay photographers, too. You know, we're for, actually in the group as well yes, because we yes. want to keep track of what's going on with the cosplay scene. Mm -hmm. It's a great group to be in. So many wonderful people and so helpful, too. Yeah. And we say Topeka Cosplay Society, but it also includes people, you know, surrounding areas. We have members from Manhattan. Uh, he lives in Lawrence. Uh, so it, it's it's all inclusive. It, it doesn't just restrict Topeka. It's just a lot of the stuff that we do, you know, going to movies, all that kind of stuff uh, is in Topeka and then surrounding areas. All right. Well, do you have anything else? I'll take that. No. <laughs> so, Harris, do you have anything to throw in here? Because you've been rather quiet. Um... You Talk about join, yourself a little bit. You should join Topeka Cosplay Society. It's a lot of fun. Good group. Good friends. Just search on uh, Facebook with that name, and we'll have it linked below here in the uh, description on the YouTube channel. Uh, so, yeah, boom. Well, guys, thank you very much for being here with us. We appreciate thank it you. all. Um, so, safe trips today. That was another great episode. As always. As always. So, guys, if you want to catch more of our awesome interviews, remember, go to all the social medias. That's right. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, Slash. All those things. Notes Slash and Nerds. Notes and Nerds. That's right, guys. Slash Notes and Nerds. Or you can go to... NotesandNerds.com. Yes. Or. 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 Patreon.com. Slash Notes and Nerds, where you can... Give a little to get a lot back. That's right, guys. So help support us so we can do more awesome stuff, because we're awesome and we appreciate it. So until next time, kumbaya, my little toad.